Hey everybody, it's John the Phone Guy here and welcome to another episode of Invicta Specs. Today we've got the Sabakwa Normal 1 Heritage. This is a standard size uh, 47 millimeter Sabakwa Normal 1 in the Heritage Collection. And uh, so with that, let's uh, jump over to the bench and take a look. And so here we are on the bench. So we have the Sabaquanoma 1 Heritage. This is model 32245. This is a limited edition. This is number 102 of 300. This is a 47 millimeter uh, black mother of pearl. Uh, water resistant is 20 atmosphere, 200 meter, 660 feet. This does have the flame fusion crystal. And of course, is running the Salita SW200 automatic, uh, 26 joule, 28,800 vibrations an hour, uh, approximately 38 hour power reserve, and the deviation is plus or minus four seconds a day. The uh, diamond count on this is 12, uh, and they're 0.9 millimeter. So with that, let's uh, kind of jump in take a look of course let's see if we can't get there some of that that mother of pearl and uh, of course we have the donut shape but let's go right back here to the clasp and you can see by the clasp here um, of course we have all of the prolage turned on the inside you got your dual deployant so this uh so it just kind of meets up very clean. Uh, I will say I, I love this kind of a class. It's very unique. Uh, it's very classy looking. Um, it does limit you a little bit in your ability to size adjust. Uh, but I will say they have included, as you can see, some of the, the, the length on most of the, uh, the bracelet links. And then this one's about a half size. So what they do is there's a half on, on each side. Um, of course, I've adjusted this for me, but that gives you a little bit of leeway to adjust with. Um, but with that, let's uh, jump to the back here. Of course, we've got our uh, limited edition flame fusion crystal. Um, of course, AL signature is on the back and we have the auto rotor and some of the details of the Ronda on the inside. So kind of get, let's get, if I can get focused, there we go. So you can kind of see some of the stuff, but uh, just a, a beautiful uh, watch. Of course, uh, Sabakunoma one with the donut case and this T-bar uh, lug construction, which is, very comfortable just because of the way it articulates around this center pivot so it'll accommodate a multitude of sizes of wrist and uh, so this is a dive so we have the full 120 click unidirectional um, like i said this is not a screw down so pull it out one and you can adjust the date and pull it out a second time and of course we can adjust the time and then sitting here, this is where you would just wind it. And of course, you know, you can see some of the, uh, the diamonds and everything and, uh, and all of that. But with that being said, let's, uh, set the, let's set this guy down here for a second and uh, let's jump over to the microscope and take a look. Hey everybody, here we are under the microscope. So we have the, starting here at the top of the dial, of course, we've got our hour markers indicated with diamonds. We've got the Invicta Reserve Limited Edition water resistance. And as we pan around, of course, we've got all of our diamond markers here. Uh, you've got your date window and going around Swiss movement. And of course, you know, your two hand, um, hour minute and then sweep hand on the seconds of course all the diamonds here and uh, and all of that so 
to kind of illustrate you can kind of see how smooth that sweep hand is on the second hand which is the um, 28,800 um, vibrations an hour which comes out to eight steps a second so basically the hand is stopping and starting uh, eight times every second so that's kind of where it gets the the smoothness from and I'm going to try and tilt a little bit and get some of the color of the black mother of pearl because at, at some points it just kind of looks flat but it really is um, just a unique coloration that was a bit too much there you can see the greens and some orange um, let's see if we can get I gotta find my get my light source just right there we go there's some more on the color so just a, a beautiful piece um, and of course you know we've got our t-bar construction down here and you've got the contrast of the uh, the high polish on the numbers and then you know the matte finish here and all of that just a, a beautiful way of highlighting all of the distinct pieces of course you got your single crown out here this is non screw down uh, FYI so just want to make note of that of course here on the back uh, we can take a look at the movement and all the stuff going on inside so just a, a beautiful timepiece um, all the way around so and even on the clasp where the uh, dual deployment is you've got the uh, the the metal work here um, which I think is just amazing that you know normally it's going to be closed so you won't even see it but just a just an added touch uh, in my opinion I, I really love those details so back here on the front and um, so with that we will uh, just kind of set this guy right here for a second and uh, I just want to take a look at that sweep pan a little bit more uh, I love the movement on that it's uh, so impressive to me and with that let's um, jump back to the bench and uh, finish out the specs on this guy okay and here we are back from the microscope so that was a um, beautiful look at some of that mother of pearl and some of the other details so let's throw some uh, measurements on this guy. So I get 46, so 46, eight uh, thickness. I get 18.3. The uh, lug, I'm gonna go off these uh, screws right here, 33.6. Uh, the bracelet, uh, 24. The length thickness is five. And just to illustrate, so where is that one? There it is. So the length on most of these, let's see if I can get this, is at 9.7, but then this half height one is 7.2, so that gives you some uh, ability to uh, adjust that. Uh, the uh, span on this I'm going to go right off these center bolts so I get 48.1 so with that we'll uh, grab up the scales here and we're in grams so we're at 267 on grams and ounces we're at 9.4 so not the heaviest watch obviously uh, but a very a very comfortable watch um, and with that I have a seven inch wrist so I'll put it on so you kind of get see how that it all lays together um, and it kind of sets up but it's very comfortable so I can show you this is on my wrist at a seven inch and of course you know the dome and everything going down there and how these articulate make it very easily worn by uh, a large number of people so take this guy off again and uh, 
let's just take one more look at that mother of pearl and some of the coloration which is just really beautiful on there uh set this thing down set this guy down and uh so I want to give uh, shout outs to uh, Instagram and YouTube friends. And I want to give a shout out to Smitten by Invicta on Instagram, uh, Invicta watches and women's fashion. And of course, uh, YouTube sensations, Trap Vision 3D and the lifestyle page talking about all things collecting and family. And of course, Tommy Big Time uh, focusing on uh, bracelet sizing and battery changes and everything Invicta. Of course, Meet and I, uh, journaling their weight loss surgery and entrepreneurship. And of course, uh, D&Q, uh, chronicling travel and food and fun. Tony Wo, uh, Christian rapper, and his music and life perspective. And of course, uh, I want to give a shout out to Unboxed Sneaks. Uh, has a great uh, show illustrating uh, men's um, sneakers and the... Uh, lifestyle and fashion that goes with it. And as always, I um, wanted to mention Shop HQ, uh, Bulldog Shopping, Invicta Stores is where we do the majority of our, our uh, watch shopping. Uh, great source. Uh, and uh, all of the hosts on Shop HQ and Bulldog are very uh, fun and informative. So a great place to go as well. Um, also want to mention uh, some Facebook, um, Invicta Vets, Invicta Cruisers, uh, Invicta Holics. There's so many out there um, to enjoy and be a part of. So go out there and find a, a group that uh, works best for you and, and your other um, collections and, and personal lifestyle. But uh, with that, let me uh, jump back uh, and close out the video. See you in a second. Hey everybody, just want to take a moment to uh, say thank you for watching and uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and uh, the information I shared. If you did and you haven't subscribed, hit the little subscribe button down over there underneath this video. Um, and, you know, again, let's just, you know, highlight the uh, Sabakonoma 1 uh, heritage. So... With that, um, I say enjoy your Invicta timepieces, and I hope to see you next time on Invicta Specs. Take care.